America stands at an inflection point. Donald Trump, the 45th president of the United States, has been arraigned criminally three times in the last months. His latest arrests stem from the charges resulting from his conduct inciting and leading an insurrection against the United States government on January 6th of 2021. Millions and millions of Americans have been poisoned by Fox News and misinformation over these recent years. Propaganda is evil because it is effective, because it works. There are millions of our fellow citizens who live in a bubble of delusion, who have been serially lied to, misinformed, and abused. Over the recent years, we have millions more who have surrendered their agency and their sovereignty. They've given up on adult life and responsibility. They've taken the easy path out, the path of excuses, where failure can be blamed on someone else. Grievance, victimization, always every failure at the hands of some unseen conspiracy. Donald Trump makes it easy for them. There are millions of Americans who legitimately believe Donald Trump is being persecuted. They believe one of the great bullies in history is a victim. They believe that the deep state is real. They believe these things because of the terrible, terrible job the Democratic Party has done rebutting them and refuting them. What the Democratic Party has missed is a fighter, is a brawler, a happy warrior, somebody who is unafraid of the MAGA base, somebody who will go anywhere at any time to tell the truth, who is unafraid of the host, unafraid of Donald Trump, unafraid of Sean Hannity, and unafraid of Trump's understudy, the fascist from Tallahassee, Ron DeSantis. Enter California Governor Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom isn't a perfect leader. Who is? He has one of the most complicated jobs in the United States. The former mayor of San Francisco and lieutenant governor of California is the chief executive of a nation state of 38 million people. If California were a nation, it would be the sixth largest economy in the world. California is America's economic engine, technologically and agriculturally. The problems and challenges of California are the nation's challenges. The evidence of failure is not that California has challenges, like some MAGA politicians like to say. Thank you for listening to my political commentary. If you like what you heard today, please also consider subscribing to The Warning, daily newsletter on Substack. Our democracy hangs in the balance. The 2024 presidential election is the most consequential in America's history. It's not hyperbole. It's a fact. That is why the mission of The Warning with Steve Schmidt is to help readers orient to the currents that are shaping our times and the unseen forces driving politics that are very rarely discussed on cable news. Please sign up at Steve Schmidt, S-T-E-V-E-S-C-H-M-I-D-T dot substack dot com. Again, Steve Schmidt dot substack dot com or at the link in the show notes section below. Thank you to each and every one of you for listening and watching. Gavin Newsom has been an exceptional leader at a moment of time overwhelmed by timidity and cowardice. Gavin Newsom is unafraid to call out the MAGA lies, and he's going to do so on Sean Hannity's show, on Fox News' air, with Governor Ron DeSantis there in a debate. Some will say this debate is without precedent, 
but it's not. In 1967, there was a remarkable debate that took place between Robert Kennedy and Ronald Reagan. They answered questions on live television from students from around the world. A lot of those questions were hostile. This forum will be different than that. And no doubt, the audience will be packed and loaded. But it doesn't matter, because Gavin Newsom will have truth on his side, and he's an exceptional communicator. What MAGA Americans have been fed is a steady diet of lies. They have been walled off from alternate information sources. How should this debate be thought about? It's not so very different than during the days of the Cold War, when occasionally, during moments of reproach month, an American president would have the rare opportunity to speak directly to Soviet or Soviet bloc citizens, to be able to deliver them an unvarnished version of reality and the truth. The truth cannot be hidden forever, and Donald Trump is no victim. The overwhelming majority of Americans do not want Donald Trump's civil war, nor do they want Ron DeSantis's. They don't want the culture war. They don't want the division. What they don't want is America at each other's throat. What they don't want is an America where hundreds of millions of people are at each other's throats, stoked as pawns would be by their politicians in a game where power is the prize. It's appalling. Ron DeSantis is going to be humiliated when he faces off against the California governor. He's going to be humiliated because the MAGA shtick is thin. It's dishonest, and it goes unchallenged constantly. That will end. And what Gavin Newsom will do in confronting the proverbial MAGA lion in its den is he will inspire courage. The simple truth is this. Confronting this imbecility and this idiocy causes nothing bad to happen to you. Gavin Newsom is going to stand up. And it's going to take a lot of Americans alongside him, standing up for the right against the worst cause in America since the Confederacy to put it away in 2024. That is what the mission of this election is, to end the extremist movement in America so at long last, after eight wasted Trump years, we can move on as a country. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. Also, for more content just like this, please consider joining our Warning Premium community. You can find out more in the description below.